welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. Thanks for joining us today for our weekly Rock and Pour collaboration. And we had a swipe challenge. I love doing swipes. They're pretty easy going and very forgiving. And I loved the swipes that Luis and Lori did. And I can't wait to see what Angela Bliss Art does. So definitely go to her channel after my video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to these artists and hit the notification button so that you never miss a video. And guys, without further ado, Let's get started. Today I decided to do a triptych on three 10 by 20 level three gallery wrapped uh, canvases. I have sprayed them in the back with water to stretch them out so paint doesn't pull in the center and tape them off as well. And as I mentioned before, I will be doing Molly Artistry's swipes today. And here is my custom green base paint. Um, there's a bunch of colors in here, but the main ones are Thalo Turquoise, Impression Blue, and Carbon Black by Golden. And one of my swipe colors is a mixture of Golden um, Fine Gold and Amsterdam Gold. And I also will be using Pebeo Copper. It is such a rich copper color. And this is my favorite color. It's a mixture of this little piggy Deja Vu and Golden High Fluid Fluorescent Magenta. And then that was Pebeo Yellow Green mixed with this little piggy Parakeet. And then here is Golden Quinacridone Magenta. And this is my white cell activator. It is a mixture of Tri-Art uh, Titanium White. And I got these supplies from fluid-art.co with the exception of the Pebeo paint, which I got from Jerry's Artorama. And here I am just spreading my base paint on my canvases. You don't want a lot of base paint because I am going to... Um, spread my cell activator behind my palette knife and drag the paint um, or the cell activator over my layers of paint. So if you have too much base paint, then it'll drag the base paint and you don't want that. Well, I will let you guys enjoy the rest of the process. I will be back with the wet results and I also wanted to use some colored diamond dust in this piece. So I'll be back with that.
y'all, here are the wet results of uh, my triptych. I think it turned out okay. I wanted a little bit more lacing, but I am um, more used to doing these on bigger canvases. But overall, I am pleased. And in the next clip, I will have the dried results along with the colored diamond dust that I used. So I cannot wait to share that. But yeah, these are the results and I like this color palette and definitely will be using this again. And here is the dried result of my triptych and that is the diamond dust that I used. You simply drop a few drops of alcohol ink, whatever color you want to use, into your diamond dust shake it around and let it dry and you have your colored diamond dust i love using it i've done a lot of pieces and i will be showing these pieces in my juried art show that is coming up in two weeks um so i am so excited and guys thanks for um joining us today i really appreciate y'all so much Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing these, even though I like to do these swipes on bigger canvases, um, doing them on the 10 by 20 was fun and I liked the diamond dust that I added. I did wanna point out that when you are working with diamond dust, please use a lot of precaution because it is crushed glass and it can cut you. So be very, very careful when you are working with it. So I just wanted to point that out. And I used Plano varnish to um, uh, have my diamond dust uh, stick to my canvas. Uh, I, I know some people like Massey Art Studio has used resin. They're really good on um, about using resin with diamond dust. I didn't have a good experience because it's stuck everywhere. So definitely go check Massey Art Studio out if you want to learn how to apply diamond dust um, with resin. Uh, I will have their channel linked down below. And also guys, I will be busy doing two juried art shows that I got selected for. And I will also be teaching my first fluid art workshop starting next month in May. So I am going to be super, super busy. And unfortunately, I will be joining the Rock and Pour collaboration every two weeks. So um, I am a little bummed, but then again, super excited for all these opportunities that are coming my way. And don't forget tomorrow, I will have my um, Dutch Bloom series uh, that I am doing uh, the video out tomorrow with the interference paints that I have been using. So stay tuned for that at noon central. So um, if you wanna learn how to create your own Dutch Bloom, uh, please check out my video tomorrow at noon. And also don't forget to sign up for Rinska Downa's Dutch Bloom course. You can save $10 by using my coupon code AMBER10. And up next is Angela from Angela Bliss Art. Don't forget to go to her channel. And guys, until next time, stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome. Bye, guys.